Hi, this is Almir Oosthuizen with Cape Town Emergency Medicine, today talking about needle decompression of the chest. Needle decompression of the chest is an emergency temporizing procedure in the case of tension in the thorax to buy you some time until insertion of an intercostal drain. The first step is to identify the landmarks for insertion of the needle. The needle should be inserted on the anterior chest wall in the midclavicular line and the second intercostal space. The second intercostal space is usually the space adjacent to or just beneath the sternomanubrial angle. To identify the space, palpate the anterior chest wall and feel the area between the two ribs lined up with the landmarks. The second step would be an attempt at cleaning the anterior chest wall. In reality, this procedure is often performed in an extremely unstable patient and full sterility is not a realistic goal. A minimum goal to strive through would be an alcohol clean of the anterior chest. Use a large bore IV cannula such as this 14 gauge IV cannula. Unsheath and confirm your landmark. Insert the needle perpendicular to the skin into the chest cavity. Once inside the chest cavity, advance the plastic cannula and remove and discard the needle in a safe manner. You will often hear a gush of air or see some bubbles and air blowing from the edge of the needle at this time, confirming decompression of the chest. Please keep in mind that needle decompression is not the definitive management of tension in the thorax and once the needle has been inserted, you should proceed to placing an intercostal drain as rapidly as possible. And that's it. Correct insertion and performance of needle decompression of the chest.